Many of you are probably familiar with the game Rayman. It's been rated as one of the number one most well-designed games, as well as one of the most beautiful games, and I definitely agree with that. So today, we're going to go ahead and try to create an asset from this game. So the asset we're going to be creating is this little bottle potion right here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw our sketch out for it. So we're going to add a new layer. And then I'm going to switch my color over to black or gray. I like to sketch with a little bit lighter colors than black. And then I'm going to change my brush to a paintbrush tool. And now we can go ahead and just get sketching. Now I have my canvas at the size of 1920 by 1080. And the reason for this is because when you're playing a game, such as in Rayman, this bottle sometimes will show up full size on your entire screen. So you want to create your assets at the largest size that they're ever going to be seen, and that way you can shrink it down and not resolu lose resolution. If you create them too small and then you try to enlarge them, they're going to lose all their resolution and become pixelated and blurry. So let's go ahead and get sketching. So the bottle's basically just sort of like a circle, like so, or an oval. And this does not have to be perfect at all. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up later. And then you have the stem. And then you have the base down here. And then we have this top part. I'm just going to draw an oval for that. And we can add a little bit more detail later. And then we have the cork. I'll draw another oval on top to represent the top of that cork. All right, so once you're happy with the shape of your bottle, we can go ahead and move forward. Now, you can try a couple of different things. I recommend that you actually create a lot of different thumbnails when you're designing things. And what that means is, say for example, our task was to create a bunch of potions, then we would want to do a bunch of different designs and try to find which one is the best one. And a thumbnail is just a small sketch, so we would maybe try one like this, and the stem would be going like that with the cork like that, or we might try one like this, and have the stem like that, or we might try one that's a perfect circle, has a stem like that. So we would try a bunch of different types of bottles and then try to decide which ones are the best ones and then take those ones and develop them further. But in this case, we're just going to be copying this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete all these and get started with this right here. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to create a mirrored shape. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new layer. Then we're gonna come over here to our marquee tool and we're gonna change it to the elliptical marquee tool. And then we're gonna go ahead and make an oval that's about the size that we just drew. So maybe somewhere about there. You might have to grab it and move it back into place. Then let's go ahead and fill that in with our gray color. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do this bottom part. And the way we're gonna do it is we're going to make a copy of this layer. So Control J or Command J. We'll drag that underneath. And then we're going to move it down so it matches up with this bottom stand down here. So we can use the arrow keys on our keyboard to push that down until we meet right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our erase tool. We're gonna to bring up our brush size and we're gonna go ahead and erase. I'm gonna turn the opacity down on this layer so that I can see the drawing underneath. Then we can go ahead and continue erasing. Then we can turn that opacity back up. Perfect. So now we have our little stand. Now I'm going to move it over just the tiniest bit because it seems a little bit off-centered. Great. Next, let's go ahead and add this stem. So I'm going to add a new layer. And on this new layer, I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool to create the stem. So we'll fill that in. Next, I'm going to turn on my transform tool, which is going to be Control-T. And then I'm going to come down to Warp. And then you get this grid system on your selection. What this allows you to do is it allows you to grab an area and pull it wherever you'd like. So I'm going to pull mine in 
something like so, so it lines up with our original drawing. We can hit enter. Next, I'm gonna create this top part. So I'm gonna switch back over to my elliptical marquee tool. I'm gonna to make that oval right there. About there should be good. And then before I fill that in, I wanna make sure I do this on a different layer. The reason why we're doing them on different layers is because we might want to move them and adjust them. And if they're on the same layer, we're not gonna be able to do that. So let's go ahead and fill this in. Then I'm gonna make a copy of this, paste it. I'm gonna drag it up above it, like so. Now we're gonna leave the cork out for now because it's not a part of the glass part of the bottle, which is what we're gonna work on first. So let's go ahead and turn off our background sketch and see how this looks. All right, it looks pretty good. Now, if yours is really off and it's not very symmetrical, what you can do is you can go ahead and merge all your layers together. And then you can use your rectangular marquee tool to select right down the middle like so. And then you can copy that and paste it. And then using your transform tool, you'll right click, come to flip horizontal, and then you can line it up like so. And that will give you a more symmetrical shape. Now let's go ahead and merge both those layers together. And now we have the basic shape for our potion. Now the reason why we just created a gray silhouette of our potion is because we're going to create some clipping masks for this layer and we're going to paint within those. This gray silhouette is actually not even going to be a part of our final product. The only thing we're going to take away from it is the shape. Before we end this lecture, I want to go ahead and change my background to a different color. So I'm going to change it to a more neutral gray. And the reason why I'm doing that is because our bottle is actually going to be transparent. That way, if we apply this bottle to any background, we're going to be able to see the background through it, which will be really nice and make it look a lot more realistic. And so by changing it to gray, it allows us to see the reflections and highlights on the glass once we start painting that. Thanks for watching this lecture, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.